we're gonna try to do um, another quick video, hoping that it's quick, um, and bring to you another one of those episodes of that deep, deep, deep shit where we connect the dots. And um, let's see what we're gonna talk about today. First of all, let's let's touch on a couple of things. Look, I would love to do more videos more often. That's in fact, that's my goal going into 2016. I'm trying to do more videos, but sometimes it's just things, you know, life um, comes up. But my goal really is to do this, is to do this. You know what I'm saying? Some people are are blessed or fortunate enough to figure out a purpose. Not the purpose, but a purpose. And this is something that comes like very natural to me in, in my nature of being. So everyone that, that does watch, uh, man, I thank you very humbly and very and I'm very appreciative of um, us taking this journey together. So, but um, yeah, so more requests of more of the videos that you guys are requesting. I'm I'm gonna get to. I'm gonna try to get to everything, every single one. So, um, but yeah, um, my scatterbrain makes me beer off topic a lot too so another episode of that deep 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 shit where we connect them dots man and um I, I'm gonna try to get into some shit like about prayer and manifestation and um maybe little rituals in there cause it kinda all it all circumvents itself so let's go ahead and get into it um, a lot of times people go their whole life, you know, praying whatever way is comfortable for them. And that's perfectly fine. And that's what really matters is whatever works for you and whatever makes you comfortable, especially when you're dealing with anything spiritual. But there's a lot of fundamental things that have been left out of, um, our path and being left out of teachings from our elders or from our parents or from our um, organizations in our communities such as churches or whatever like for example you know they'll say oh just pray about it but no one ever tells you well how do you do that how just talk just say anything no one ever goes into that and that has a whole lot to do with the power struggle that is that has its hold on society but most importantly humanity but i want to try to touch on a couple of things that aren't the rule of thumb but they are some things that may help um help with prayers or manifestations or rituals because they're all the same thing well, first and foremost, it's 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 your intent and how you feel. You know, you can say that you want you want something. You know, um, I want a new car. Um, uh, I I want a, a better girlfriend, a better boyfriend. I want a new job. You know, but the things that make these things come to fruition is not the verbalization of saying you want or even why you want is the intention first and foremost and secondly how you feel about it you know what I mean so if your intentions you can have extremely good intentions or you can have extremely bad intentions but it's the power and polarity of that intention that will spark the initial attraction uh, to what you're uh, asking 
to manifest in your life. Um, I always would lean towards the positive. That's just me. You know what I'm saying? Um, but those are just polarities. What's good for me may be bad for you. What's bad for me may be good for you. You know, so, you know, it's just a, it's just a perception on polarity. But, um, but the feeling that's behind the intention is the battery that you put forth into um, manifesting or uh, attracting uh, a, a desire. In fact, that is the basis of desire. It's the feeling, the passion behind it. You know, so if you're really, really cold and they cut your PG&E off, it's, it's cold, it's freezing, you know. You, you may be like, oh, I sure want to show pray to God that, it stay, that I stay warm. You know what I'm saying? This feeling that is a, a natural necessity of you wanting to stay warm and your whole prayer to God of staying warm for the winter after PG and who, PG&E or whoever your electrical provider is, wherever you are, has cut your power off. That is a... The emotion is wanting to stay warm. The intent is positive because you want to live. But something may happen that's like a miracle that someone sends you some money so you can borrow to cut, to cut your bill on. Or, you know, pg &E comes with a program or something that, that, that you can get your bills cut on. And then you're like, oh, my prayers have been answered. So... You're thinking that you've prayed on something and it's been answered by whatever deity that you believe in. And, you know, there's some truth and fact in this, but at the same time, there's some science behind this example as well. So let's get into the science part of it. There's something of what you would call mudras. Okay, mudras, and I touched on this in a video before mudras are um, uh, hand positionings or symbols that pretty much direct the electromagnetic current that are in your body we are electric electromagnetic beings okay that means that we can receive energy and we can repel energy the science behind mudras is that along your hands there are meridians of energy points just like the chakras in your body the seven there's also chakras in your hands many chakras in your hands in your palms in your wrists in your elbows just in your entire in, in your whole entire body so what you can do is you can put your body in certain positions that align the electromagnetic currents in your body to form some sort of antenna this act alone should be um, uh, added in when you are quote-unquote praying manifesting or ritual work mudras okay for example I'll give you a simple example on this one when people do this they fail to realize what they're doing. Each finger represents an element. Funny that you have five fingers. Funny that you have five elements to deal with. All right. So what we have here is earth, wind, fire, water, and ether. Okay. So water, earth, ether, wind, fire, okay? So what you're doing is you're bringing two hemispheres of five elements and putting them together as an antenna. The original position or thought of this namaste type of mudra is when you bow your head. Why do they bow your head? See, they, you learn this in church, but you don't know why you do it. Why do you bow your head? Because you're putting the elements together here and you have the fire element the fire element is what charges all of these elements and then you're putting the the two fire elements to your third eye as a antenna to send out a signal 
or receive a signal to send it out to the universe or receive from the universe. This is what this is. But people don't know why they do it. Okay? Um, so, the second part of what you would call prayer, rituals, or manifestations is the words. Now, most people speak the native language of whatever or wherever they live, right? So let's just take English for example since I'm speaking English. English is one of the most youngest, if not the youngest, um, language on this planet. Now, it's it's commonly known, well not commonly, maybe not, but it's known that the older, the ancient, the more ancient the language is, the more spiritual power it has. So when you get into Latin, or even before Latin, when you're getting into um, other other languages and dialects that were uh, that preceded uh, even Latin, but Latin is just a good place to start. But the even the, the, the even was older than that. Using English words in, in your prayers, rituals. Or manifestation is almost like um, having a device that needs four double A batteries, but you only got three. You got three good ones. No, you got three bad ones and one good one. It's going to work, but it could work better. You know what I mean? So, you know, if you really want to supercharge your prayers, rituals, or manifestations, um, it's good to kind of know how sound works. And um, I did a video about language, uh, and I'll put that up here, a link somewhere up there to where you can um, click that and check out how language works. Really important. Um, also check out the sound video as well um, to kind of understand that because the power of the vibration of sound really manifests, manifests in the vowels, all right? Um, another thing to touch on is when they say collective, the power of collective prayer. That means when you pray with other others, uh, it intensifies or enhances um, the power, which will give you a more greater chance of having an effect. Holding hands in the circle, what are you doing? You're creating a circuit of energy and putting a direction of a common cause. Um, you see this when people are sick and people come together to pray over someone, how miracles can happen, um, if that's what you want to call a miracle. Uh, you see this in um, other aspects of life as well with the Native Americans when they would do a rain dance. You know what I'm saying? So, you know, again, it doesn't necessarily mean you're sitting on your knees and saying, oh God, oh God, please. It's different ways that prayers, manifestations, and rituals work. It's even in the form of dancing, that's body movements in motion. Dancing, hitting hitting the drum. Just that Kendrick dog. Uh, 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 uh. Just that institutionalized. What? Mm, mm, mm. Okay, so um, hitting the drum, speaking of drums, hitting the drum is creating a vibration and the intent of that vibration is making the clouds come together to have rain. So prayers, rituals, and manifestations work in many, many different aspects. And, and we do this all the time, like we be tripping, like we do this constantly, but we just don't know what we're doing and that's what kills me. Like, say... We're all we're all having a party and we pour up we pour up some champagne. Everybody raises their champagne in the air and says, Cheers to prosperity and good health. Clink 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 cheers. You're putting the manif you're putting the intention of prosperity and good health in a vibration, in a collective atmosphere, in a liquid what is water and ether, that's what alcohol is, water and ether, and you put the intentions in it and you're drinking it in a group. You're drinking prosperity and good times and you're ingesting it. We do these things all the time, but we get scared when someone says a ritual or manifestation or 
even prayer. All these words scare people because they don't understand what they mean and they don't understand how they work. And yet, we do it all the time. So, um, with that being said, no one can tell you how to pray. But it's good to know how things work to pray. You know what I'm saying? And remember that prayer, or even, not prayer, let me wipe that word away. Communicating with the universe, universal creation, the creator, creation itself, however it fits your bill, right? That it's a two-way thing. You know what I'm saying? You can put it out and you can receive as well. You know what I'm saying? You don't just have to just receive or, you know what I'm saying? You don't just have to just talk and don't expect to hear nothing. You know what I'm saying? And it's not even a hearing thing. It's a communication thing. And uh, communication isn't always verbal. In fact, most communication is not verbal at all. Honestly. So, with that, I hope this helps somebody, anybody, 